All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the belt replacement on a 2011 Toyota RAV4 four-cylinder. Um, should be a walk in the park, should be nothing too crazy. Now, I am gonna record this to the best of my abilities and so forth. Um, if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more coming videos in the future. And we're gonna go ahead and start this video right after the intro. So belt tensioner, um, serpentine belt is gonna be right here. Here's the alternator, um, and then you got your belt that's going down below. And then right above, right here, is our belt tensioner. It's actually really easy to access. Um, I mean, just the showing the part of recording is gonna be the hardest. So if you can do it with a 14 millimeter wrench, or you can do a, like a socket, um, deep socket, I wanna say, and then you can probably release the tension. I'm going to be using a double-sided wrench. This, this is really good, um, like this. And then you are going to be going counterclockwise on that sense. I'm sorry, clockwise. So we're going to go clockwise, and then we're going to release the tension off the belt so we can slide it off. So remember, counter, I meant clockwise, we're going to go. So once we release that tension, I'm going to go reach, so under the alternator, there is a water pump that's under that. So I'm going to go ahead and slide off the belt off the water pump because that is a smooth pulley and it's actually a lot more easier to actually remove that. Now, your tool is going to get stuck once releasing that. Don't remove your tool, just keep it on there. And then you're just going to kind of just shake the belt and we're going to try to just, what you're doing is you're sliding it towards the wheel and we're trying to get it off the actual crank pulley bolt. Here's our belt, the condition of it. It's not bad, um, but we do have 100K miles and customer requested it on that. So, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and do the install now. All right, so here's gonna be the belt diagram. So we got our crankshaft, belt tensioner, generator or alternator, water pump, and then an AC compressor. Uh, the new belt that we're going to be using, um, part number is going to be 495K6. So if you want to pause it on this or that, so we'll give it a, give you a couple seconds on that. You can use that as a diagram. All right, so this is kind of be pretty much like a little walkthrough. I'm going to try to show the best of my abilities on how to lay out the belt. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and start off at the crank pulley first. If you need to, you can actually swing your hand right under and then do that. I'm gonna change my body position and I'm gonna come up from the actual back of the engine and I'm gonna use my hand. Um, I'm not gonna show that right now but I will show it in a little bit. So sliding over the belt, over the crank pulley, and then we're gonna go ahead and get it over the compressor. And then I'm gonna work my way right under the water pump. And then right there at the water pump, I'm gonna pull it back. And then just like that, there we have it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tension. Now, if your belt is not seated in correctly, most likely it might be on the AC compressor. Let's go ahead and check that. Yep, AC compressor is not seated in. So I'm gonna go down below. And then just make sure the belt is in all of its grooves before trying to release the tension because if it's not you won't be able to get it on all right so what i'm going to go ahead and do first i'm going to get it on the actual lip of the alternator pulley and then i'm going to retract it back as much as possible give myself some as much slack as i can and if i can't get it then i'll just go ahead and slightly Remove. 
I'm gonna just remove off the water pump pulley just a little bit, just so I can get myself some slack. And then I'm gonna swing it right back over the, the water pump pulley because it's a smooth pulley and it's easier to slide the belt on. All right, so got that. It's a really tight fit, don't get me wrong. So just keep in mind. All right. So my position, I'm standing on the engine like this. I'm using my right hand to feed right over here. And you can actually see everything like really well. Let's go ahead and get that to focus. Sorry guys, like it's really hard to get the camera to focus. So right over there, you can see the actual crank pulley. And then you can actually see the AC compressor just like that. But I would say just coming up right up here is a perfect spot to lay down the belt. And it literally takes just about a minute, minute or two just to slap it on. But yeah, other than that, recheck your belt. Make sure that they're all in the grooves. And what I mean by in the grooves is that the belt is fully seated in and not hanging off the actual like end of the lip. So it'll cut through the belt right away because it's gonna try to correct itself. Um, if this video helped you out, thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And hit that subscribe button for more coming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.